The Battle of Gettysburg was the costliest battle of the Civil War. It took place from July 1st to the 3rd, 1863, with more than 50,000 casualties. However, this was a turning point in the war, as Southerners began weakening and Northerners began strengthening. Around 8 a.m., the Confederates attacked, expecting little resistance, but surprisingly found strong Union brigades. Later, however, the Union were forced to retreat due to advancing Confederates. Fighting continued several hours like this, until around 2.30 in the afternoon, when General E. Lee came and joined the attack on General Meredith and his Iron Brigade. Then, the Union Army began to retreat until they backed up to the Cemetery Hill. By this time, the Confederates had suffered numerous casualties and were severely weakened. Then, around 4.30 p.m., Major General Winfield Hancock took over the Union Army on the orders of Meade. The first day ended with a Confederate win. July 2, 1863, the second day of the Gettysburg Battle was a victory for the Union. The two armies were facing parallel ridges a mile apart. The Union Army was positioned in a fishhook position on Cemetery Ridge, while the Confederate Army, facing them, took an arch position on Seminary Ridge. General Robert E. Lee's first order was to attack the flanks of the Union formation while James Longstreet of the Confederacy attacked the south of the Union Army. Longstreet's attack at Peach Orchid broke D.E. Sickles' advance line and left the Union soldiers either wounded or dead near Plum Run, now known as Bloody Run. Fortunately, General G.K. Warren had saved the base of Little Round Top, Devil's Den, for the Union. In the north, on East Cemetery Hill and Culp's Hill, R.S. Ewell's attack, one of the Confederacy's attack, was a failed attempt against the Union. The second day of Gettysburg Battle came to the conclusion that the lack of effective communication was the cause of a southern defeat, for if the communication was effective, the south would have been able to attain valuable information that Union supply trains were just a few hundred yards away. The third day of the Gettysburg Battle, July 3rd, 1863, at about 1 in the afternoon, General Lee decided to open bombardment near Cemetery Hill, but the bombardment did little to the Union forces. The turning point of the war came next. General George E. Pickett of the South attempted to regain the partial victory the preceding day by recruiting 15,000 Confederate troops to attack Union forces. Even as they marched one mile, the Confederate soldiers were attacked, and when they finally reached the Union forces, their efforts of breaking the Union line ended in failure. In less than an hour, more than 60% of the Confederates under Pickett's lead had either died were wounded fatally or had fled for safety. Today, this bloody charge is known as Pickett's Charge. The Battle of Gettysburg was a tragedy on both sides, totaling 51,000 casualties altogether. Prior to the battle, the Confederacy had been on a winning streak. However, due to bad Confederate communication, Gettysburg changed this with a major Union victory. Morale was lowered in the South upon news of the failure of Pickett's charge. This caused the Confederacy to change their tactics. They never went on an offensive attack again during the course of the war. If the outcome of this battle had been in favor of the South, the war could have unfolded in a very different manner. All in all, this historic event will be remembered as a key turning point in the war.